Hi friends, welcome back to Meet Your Teeth. This is Mevish and today we will be discussing about overseas registration exam, which is usually a common pathway through which international dentists get registered with GDC in order to practice as a dentist in UK. So ORE broadly involves two parts. Part one is theory, which includes MCQs, and part two is practical, which involves diagnosis and treatment planning, OSCEs, medical emergencies, and mannequin. So the moment you book for part one exam, from there onwards, you have five years to pass both the parts. And you have maximum of four attempts to pass each part. To be honest, passing part one is a bit easier, but to pass part two, definitely it will require a lot of effort. Uh, this exam is designed to determine whether you can safely practice dentistry in UK and for this you need to demonstrate that you have necessary knowledge and skills. So both these parts will be held at London but uh, due to Covid this year GDC has decided to organize part 1 of ORE online. As such there is no update regarding part 2 so keep an eye on the uh, website for all the latest updates. Coming to the cost, uh, it is definitely a costly exam. Part 1 is about £800 and Part 2 is about £3,000. So um, it is really a huge investment. Um, not to forget the additional expenses, that is, uh, you need to buy all the dental material and the equipment, which is again really costly. And also you need to undertake few courses, especially for Part 2, which again will involve a lot of money. As such, for part one, um, it's all theory exams, so um, you don't need any courses as such. And I've already shared my study plan, which will hopefully help you pass in your first attempt. So kindly go through it. I have also attached the links in the description box below. So my advice is always to prepare well so that you can uh, successfully pass these parts in your first attempt. Alright, so let's see how to apply for the ORE exam and uh, what are the requirements. And uh, before you apply for this exam, please visit the route to registration page on the GDC website and complete the questionnaire to see if you should undertake this exam or if you are an exempt person. So let's see what are the requirements of ORE. It is really important that you have all the necessary documents in place before you apply for the exam. The candidate needs to provide the following documents. Number one, a completed application form, which is pretty straightforward to fill. Make sure that your clinical reference uh, form is uh, adequately filled by the clinical referee and it has to be signed. Next is a certified copy of your dental degree. Next is an original certificate of good standing, which should not be more than three months old. So make sure that you apply on the correct time. Then a certified copy of your valid passport, along with one recent passport size photograph. And evidence of English language proof. This is really important. Um, GDC is very strict with this. So usually candidates i would advise candidates to just appear for ielts because this is pretty straightforward you need to make sure that um, this is not more than two years old and uh, you need to attain a minimum overall band score of seven and uh, no score lower than 6.5 in any section so some candidates asked if oet is acceptable i would like to tell them no oet is not acceptable um, there are a few other um, things that may be uh, accepted for uh, the English language proficiency, please uh, check the GDC website and click on the English language controls to check more about this. Next is the ENIC statement, which is a NARIC certificate. Basically, this is to compare that your BDS degree is comparable to the UK BDS. And this can be easily applied online you may need to uh, wait for two to four weeks to get the certificate so apply on a correct time and uh, if at all there is any difference or change in your surname like usually after marriage uh, there can be a different surname that you might have changed to so in that case you need to submit your marriage certificate 
and all the certified uh, documents that you are submitting should be attested by a solicitor or notary. And finally, the overseas dentist must make sure that they have at least 1600 hours of clinical experience where they have personally treated patients. Now, this could be during your dental degree or during post qualification experience or the combination of both. But this cannot include time observing other dentists or assisting other dentists. Okay, so make sure that you submit a completed application because if at all the application is incomplete or out of date then it cannot be processed and it will be returned back to you so let's talk a bit more about ORE part one exam now usually this is held twice a year it is uh, just a single uh, day exam and it includes two papers paper a and paper b in order to progress to part two you need to pass both the papers so it is a computer based exam which includes mcqs and each paper lasts for three hours you will be given a percentage out of 100 for paper one and paper two as well as an overall score uh, of pass or fail And all these uh, questions are mapped to the learning outcomes in the GDC document, preparing for practice, which I'll be going through in a short while. Basically, paper one is designed to test the candidate's application of knowledge to the clinical practice. So all the questions that you will be asked in the part one exam will be from the syllabus. And this is also mentioned on the GDC website. You can go through it. So the part one syllabus involves various uh, subtopics like behavioral sciences, biomedical sciences, human diseases, medical emergencies, laws, ethics and professionalism, health informatics, introduction to clinical dentistry, involving various aspects like taking consent, uh, suggesting referrals, treatment planning, medical history, and um, working as a part of team, and so many other aspects. Restorative dentistry, another vast topic. Uh, you are expected to be competent in restoring the teeth and improving the gum condition all the aspects of periodontology, uh, conservative dentistry, pediatric dentistry, as well as uh, replacement options for missing teeth. Dental biomaterial science, to have a sound knowledge of all the dental materials. Pediatric dentistry, to be competent uh, in uh, restoring deciduous teeth, providing fissure sealants, and uh, to have a very good knowledge of uh, trauma. Trauma is a very, very important for topic for both part one and part two exams. the foundation for every other topic in dentistry it's really important that you have a very good knowledge about this so I would advise you to go through the pink book the Oxford handbook of clinical dentistry in detail word by word and oral pathology and microbiology radiology And finally, pain and anxiety control. So everything you will be asked in ORE is around these topics only. I know it's a huge one, but um, yeah, so it's good to have an idea of the syllabus in order to study better, isn't it? 
how to book for the exam. Let me tell you that applying for the exam is different than booking the exam. So you can apply for the exam anytime throughout the year. Following the completion of the application, the online application process, you will be issued with a personalized application form to download, print, sign and submit along with the supporting documents. And uh, uh, once you submit uh, the application, you will be uh, sent an acknowledgement email by GDC within five working days and they will check all your documents, contact you if there is any problem and contact your referees as well. And after that, they will email you with an eGDC account login instructions. So we suggest that you make an eGDC account um, as soon as possible. And that's it. You're all set to book the exam. Next, we advise you to keep checking the exam website for uh, all the updates to know when the exam will open, because as such, the slots get filled very quickly, possibly within a few seconds. And many a times we have heard that candidates need to wait for uh, quite a long time, maybe a couple of years if, before they can even just book the exam. And it's all based on first come first basis. And once you have booked the exam, you will be asked to make the necessary payment. And once you are done with your exams, your results may be emailed to you within a month or so. We wish you all the very best. I recommend that you check the ORE website for all the latest information and updates. Also make sure that you um, go through the ORE application form guidance notes, which are provided on the website. That's it for today. Hope you found it useful. If yes, please do click the thumbs up button and do share it with others whom you may think will be beneficial. We have also created a Facebook group for providing you further guidance if you may need. And if you have any queries, you can email me at mnk.dentist at gmail.com and we will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And in the future, we will also uh, plan to arrange further videos on ORE Part 2 exam. So if you would like to hear more from us and about the various dental exams in the UK, please do subscribe to Meteor Thief. Thank you.